<laughs> Hi there, this is Odawa Dodo Gaming, and I want to show you my favorite way to build really thick walls in Ark Survival Evolved. To be honest, I haven't been playing Ark as much lately, and that's kind of a good thing because I've been so addicted to this game for many years. Um, I want to share with you this secret that I think I discovered maybe about two years ago, and um, to be honest, uh, some of you might say that it's meshing. It's not meshing in my opinion. I think it's a glitch that perhaps the developer of Structures Plus, Orion Sun, uh, maybe didn't know about, um, or maybe decided just to leave in. So I'm just going to clear up these plants so we can see what I'm doing here. Um, I am going to show you how I discovered this. So first things first, um, let's use uh, two techniques that didn't work for me. Um, I noticed that when you have a foundation, that of course you can press Q to cycle through the different snap points. I noticed that one of the snap points would be on top, one of them would be on the bottom. You can see that if I, maybe if I back up here, it'll snap there. There we go. And I thought, that's interesting. Hmm, I wonder how far out I can build uh, on the bottom. So, you know, for example, I did something like this. And then I said, well, what if I have a wall? Oh, look, there's snap points to this. Interesting. Okay. Um, and I thought, that's pretty cool. And I built some bases like this so that it was really difficult for people to get in. And you know what? I even used um, some glass extra large foundation or, pardon me, walls, uh, which made it look like I didn't even have, um, you know, anything there. I would just make it invisible uh, by removing the models. And I thought this was really, really clever of, my, of me. Uh, and then what I did is I realized that um, this is not a good design. Why? Well, you know the walls are there. As soon as this foundation disappears, those walls disappear. Even though the walls were sitting on this foundation over here, you see the snap points um, are red uh, until this foundation is poking up out of the ground. Uh, this would also work with a pillar. So if a pillar is coming through the foundation underneath the ground, um, then these snap points will work over here. So you can see, uh, if I just point my demo gun uh, at this foundation, you can see what happens if I look underneath here. One, two, three. That's what happens. So this was not a good um, design. What's going on back there? All right. Anyway, uh, so let me show you how it uh, can be done. Um, foundations are all gone, that's good. Um, let me show you uh, using the correct way or the way that I discovered, which is using triangle foundations. So with triangle foundations, uh, S plus triangle foundations, uh, it doesn't um, matter if all the foundations are underneath the ground. So for example, even though it looks like there's no foundation, there is one underneath. I think we've done this before, right? You can do that with a square foundation or you know a normal foundation. You can do that without the uh, foundation underneath just getting destroyed. So this is not the same as you know having foundations in the sky. It's just below the mesh slightly. Um, so check this out: red snap points green snap points. Hmm, interesting. So that means you can actually string a bunch of very cheap stone foundations or any tier of triangular S plus foundations. You can see where the ones underneath are because I can snap above them and then you can see where they are not because it disappears. So I'm going to put one right there and look at this. You can actually build a uh, wall, or, you know, closing off a, a cave, um, and you can do this really cheap in terms of the foundations because even though I'm using metal walls, I'm using stone foundations right here. Check this out. If I, uh, let's throw on a bunch of these. You know, this is 120,000 HP for this wall right here. So let's just uh, throw on a bunch and um, you will notice 
if I destroy this, not destroy it, but damage it, that yes, that is affected, but if we just, I'm on a single player server right now, if you go down below, you'll see the foundation is perfectly untouched. So how is this useful? Well, I'm going to show you. Uh, let's go over here to one of my favorite places on the center to build a starter base. Uh, right here we've got a great little cave and you can close off the cave very cheap. Uh, notice how I'm putting the foundation sideways. So before I was having it facing the entrance, but this time I'm going to actually position them sideways like this. Um, and actually I don't want that there, I want it underneath. So this is what I would do is I would cycle through the snap points with Q, put it on, and then I would remove this, not just so that people don't see what I'm doing in case someone feels that that is illegal uh, or ban worthy, but also just because I only want to deal with snap points down there. So um, you can easily see how useful this is. Uh, just to kind of show you where things are at. Uh, if you want to go straight across, you're going to have to put another foundation right here. Right? So then things will come across at an angle. And I'm backing up. Um, you can see if I want I can, to move around here, I can select the, the snap points really easily. So uh, check this out. All right? We can close this entire thing off. Um, I probably put that on a weird angle there, but uh, you get the point, I hope. Um, and, you know, that's really cheap just to have one layer of triangle foundations like that. You can imagine if I do multiple layers, uh, how many layers of walls uh, we could have. So, you know, here, let me demonstrate. Um, now, usually I use the glass walls because I like to pretend that my base is not even here. Uh, it's good to stay hidden. And let's see, I'm just sort of estimating where these things are. Uh, looks pretty good. And, you know, normally I would actually really take my time to do this uh, to make sure I have the angles uh, really uh, strategically aligned. But, you know, you can see right here, just as I do this quickly for a demonstration, how many layers do I have? I have so many layers. Um, so let me go into ghost mode here. And you can see just with two layers of foundations, right? You have 120 plus 120 plus 120 plus 120, 120. So that's one, two, three, four, five layers to get through. And I say five, not six, because it's this one that would have to be destroyed. Uh, then this one, then this one, then this one, then this one. So that's five times 120,000 is 600k um, for HP. So, you know, have four layers of foundations. You have a million HP for people to get through your uh, your your entrance to your cave base, uh, which is excellent, right? Um, even on a high rate server, that's going to really annoy people and perhaps even uh, discourage them after they blow through the first couple layers. Um, I really like to use the glass uh, walls because people don't really know how many layers they have to blow through, right? So if it's completely invisible, um, you know, that's uh, gonna feel exciting to, to them for the first couple layers and then they're gonna probably give up after they are, you know, confused how many more layers are there to go. So. Um, I definitely encourage you to use um, the glass ones, but actually make them invisible by selecting their model to be no sides. Um, and then it looks like there is no wall here at all, which can actually um, you know, keep your base safe if you build further back. Um, this is uh, looking like there's nothing here, right? Um, anyway, that's basically my tutorial. Um, and, uh, yeah, I hope you use this technique, you know, wisely. Um, obviously some people will feel that this is, uh, you know, uh, a glitch or, you know, somehow ban worthy. Um, so maybe just explore this on your single player server, um, or, you know, keep it a secret and, um, trust that 
you know, you are still going to have to build defenses. It's not like you're building completely underneath the ground. So that's why I would argue that this is not, um, uh, you know, a mesh base. This is simply another tool in, uh, in your library of, of knowledge. So um, thanks for watching and uh, hit the like button and feel free to subscribe. Thanks.